Why intelligent design is not a scientific theory? A response to end page 85. Now, end page 85 is not your typical creationist. In fact, he's not a creationist at all. He uses the other label of creationist, intelligent design, the emperor's new clothes. The basic arguments by these people are still the same. And uh, it, it's easy to laugh at someone like Venom Fang X who lacks all sorts of higher education. And uh, it, it, he, has, he doesn't know what he's talking about. However, right, on page 85, he's, he's not a biologist, which one would think you should at least know something about biology before you tackle things like evolution and things. But he is a university student soon a PhD I believe but his field of expertise is logic and therefore all his arguments are based on logic he doesn't look at biology he uses words to persuade us to believe in his so-called intelligent design which he, which he claims is a scientific theory which it isn't but we will get to that but remember he's not Venom Fang X before you are going to sc scream uh, appeal to authority here for me um, saying that he is not a biologist. I'm not saying that you have to be a biologist to understand evolution, but it helps a lot. And um, if you are going to discuss evolution, you should have some sort of understanding of biology. But it, it is enough to have a high school understanding of biology. And um, I have no formal training in logic whatsoever, so I really can't hold my own to m page 85 when it comes to logic. And uh, I might be doing some logical fallacies here, but that's not my area. I prefer to look. I'm a biologist. I look at reality from a biology standpoint. I look at the evidence, and then I draw the conclusion that every single other biologist, 99. 0.9% biologists do. Mm -hmm. I've been discussing with MPH85 on several of his uh, videos. In one of his videos he claims that intelligent design is an alternate scientific theory to evolution. Which it isn't. It isn't a scientific theory. And I called him out on this and I wanted him to prove that intelligent design is a scientific theory. And his response was that I used dogma, that intelligent design is a scientific theory. And he claims that it has testable hypothesis and uh, many, many millions of <laughs> confirming instances. That, that's funny, so remember that. Mm. And he says I uh, made very different videos and it would be educational for me to watch them. And I responded that I have several. My education comes from a real university and he claims appeal to authority and um, logical fallacies without... Uh, I didn't say that my degrees in biology and chemistry uh, just because I have them that uh, 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 intelligent design is not a scientific theory. I wanted to argue the merits. I wanted him to give an example of how intelligent design is a scientific theory. So I, he said it truly is that simple that ID is a scientific theory. So I said, then it would be easy for you to give one example of it. <laughs> where response? Where do you want me to start? And I said, hey, anywhere, anywhere you like. I'm just asking for one simple evidence that intelligent design is a scientific theory. Which he responds, then, uh, why I don't think it is. So he can simply negate all my reasons for it. Like instead of him giving me an example, he wants me to give example why it isn't. So therefore, I explain what a scientific theory is. And a scientific theory is any scientific theory must be based on a careful and rational examination of the facts. A clear distinction needs to be made between facts and theories. A fact is something that is supported by unmistakable evidence. I want facts. I want evidence that. ID is a scientific theory. So any example would be good. Um, 
uh, more field authority, la 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 la. And uh, finally, he gives something. He gives the hypothesis of the ID, and then he makes several claims, but still not provide any sort of evidence. Which again, please give me scientific evidence why you think it's a scientific theory. It's important to have evidence in a scientific theory. Then uh, he starts talking about complex specific. Uh, complex specified information and uh, la 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 la. Basically, a painter, painting needs a painter, and they um, list a bunch of um, you know watches, planes, cars, houses, and I call him out that living organisms are self-replicating. So you can't use cars to. Of course, a car has an intelligent designer, but that has nothing to do with a living organism. And it continues, continues, and continues, and the days goes by, and, uh, and now we are here. Then, once again, for umpteenth time, just provide me with one source of your evidence. Just one, please. And uh, I got tired of waiting, so uh, I decided to make this video instead and look at his other uh, videos where he explains why intelligent design is a scientific theory. And now let's look at one of those videos.